again this is ABM graphics welcome back to my youtube tutorials if you are new to this channel you can just subscribe to my youtube channel and if you are already a subscriber thank you very much for coming back yes welcome back to the week again welcome today yes today i just want to show you another uh, way of drawing you know this kind of pencil drawing in photoshop and converting image to pencil drawing so that it will look so beautiful and some call it black and white uh black and white image you know convection yes and this particular this thing we call it pencil drawing how to do that kind of pencil drawing art in photoshop and in this tutorial i'm going to use photoshop cs6 to do that because uh, it has that one has just opened and it means that you can use older versions to do this without any problem so first of all let's just go to our photoshop like this and there is my photoshop and this is what i'm going to use to do that and this is photoshop cs6 you get that yes the first thing i again have to do is to get that particular image that i'm going to use and this particular image is here so i just want to pick it and then i'll drop it in photoshop and this is the image and we want to turn it to pencil drawing we are all we just want to convert this particular image to pencil drawing and you see that this particular image is so beautiful and it's nice but if you want to convert it to pencil drawing or just making it look look so black and white image how do you do that so first of all when you open up this particular image like this as i did the next thing you have to do is to press ctrl j when you press ctrl j this is one of the reasons why i don't like using photoshop css you see that it will come bl blank dark and those things you know that's why i don't like it yes so when you have something like this you have just a uh, duplicate a layer just like this and this particular layer the next thing that you have to do is to come to adjustment layer over here then you click when you click on that adjustment layer or refill layer or fill layer you just need to go to hue and saturation when you click on hue and saturation when you come to saturation over here it's zero percent so just try and move it to the last part making it minus what hundred and you have it like black and white just like this you get that yes and the next thing that again you have to do is to come and select the layer one this one this is the layer one then you come and change the blinding the color dodge over there when you change the color dodge over there this is what you have over there you get that and the next thing that you have to do again is to press ctrl i to what to invert it press ctrl i to invert it or you can go to select then you click on this particular invert and that one to work for you you get that yes and after this is what we'll have we'll have it a blank like a white background just like this but the next thing again that you have to do is to go to filter then you come to play then you will go to Gaussian blur over here then you click on that then the one you click on that the next thing that you do is that you just need to make it over here then you drag it you know it depends on any kind of image that you are working with you know there will be an image you leave it two you leave it four you leave it ten you leave it yes you can just keep dragging but don't drag it to be the same thing as the uh, the other this thing no just try and drag it so that you will get that kind of pencil drawing features in it and that one will look so beautiful so however this particular tutorial said i'm just going to use a radius of 9.0 and that one will be okay for me then i'll click ok then this is what i have and you can see that that pencil drawing features is just appearing on this particular distance yes and then the next thing again i have to do is to um come over to adjustment layer again or the the, the the fill layer then i'll come to levels over here then i'll click on levels then when i click on levels on this particular this one too is the same thing we just need to keep dragging until you get the best results from it and this results getting it is that you get the, where there is the black area like the 
those eyes down those kind of things the black black will have to appear and then the white too has to appear just to make a black and white this thing yes and then so you just need to keep moving then until you get that this thing and you can keep moving to make it black like this and it will look so beautiful and that particular feature will not be there so just try and minimize how you are dragging and you keep watching and then it will look so beautiful so in this top particular tutorial sake i just want to leave my one my own one 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 and that's 111 and then that will be okay for me and how it will look so beautiful and then when you have some kind of this it means that that kind of pencil drawing feature has just appeared on this particular destiny yes and it looks so beautiful and then when you have it like this it's beautiful and then you can also try to add some more this thing to it there are certain particular images you need to add a what is the name a brightness to it so that it will bright more you get that so you just need to click on the brightness so that you can bright it more or you can reduce the brightness you know there are certain images you need to do that but for this one i don't need it that way and then you can have it just like that okay and then maybe you can also decide to add some noise and making it so sharp you can also sharp it again so what i need to do over here is to just press Control shift alternate e then i'll have it just like this this one it will just uh, filter it for me then i'll have it just like this over there then i'll select that particular layer too then i'll come over to filter then i'll come to noise then i'll add noise there yes and you can have it just like this and then you can also check over here if the noise are okay for you if are not okay for you you can also make changes to it so this one i'll just leave it at 23 and if that one is okay for me then i'll have it just like that over there and then i can have just like this over there and then i can also decide to add some sharp uh, i can also make it so sharp by going to filter again come to sharpen then I will come to smart sharpen yes and I will just look at how the things looks like then I'll have my this thing over there just like that and the, this one too you just need to keep dragging whilst checking your this thing if that one is okay for you then you leave it that way if it's not okay then you can also keep increasing the radius to make it so look to make it look so beautiful and so exciting then you can click okay just like that and you can have it just like this without any problem you get that yes so this is why we, we convert an image to pencil drawing and when you print this thing everything is just going to come out very easy and quick and then there is another way that i will show you uh, but maybe in the next tutorial when i have your questions and your everything on my comments box i'm going to show you more of this particular this kind of drawing we call this one some call it black and white those who are using color draw call it black and white you know you know and but we call it pencil drawing this to make it look so beautiful and then you can have it just like this yes thank you very much for watching this is ebn graphics and have a nice day bye bye